This here is a 2006 Impala LT named Ruby and I'm going to be uh, doing a whole bunch of work on this. There's a few videos I'm going to make specific to it, but the rest will be vlog, vlog style like my last one. So let's see what I have in store. There's most of my boxes <laughs> sitting up next to the recycle bin, but uh, we're going to do all four struts. I got everything laid out here. We're gonna do lower control arms, sway bar end links, inner and outer tie rods, boots, uh, and these janky clamps that came with them don't work. I got some on the way. And then we're gonna do Detroit axle brakes. We've got the ceramic pads. I mean, these came with clips, lube. The whole kit came with parts cleaner, fluid, Got both sets of rotors, front and rear. I ordered the sway bar end links. And let's see. So he's got a black mirror on the passenger side and a body colored one on the driver. And I asked him if he wanted me to paint that other one red. And he's like, no, this one, I want, I want a new one on this side. So I picked him up a new mirror. This one's good, otherwise, I might just keep it for my car. I don't know. Um, we're going to do, I've got a matching lock set because he just has the key for the ignition. The door one doesn't work. We're going to replace that. I'm going to be doing a video on that. We're going to replace the uh, oil pressure sensor. I got him some beam techs like I put in my car. I'm going to restore the headlights with the Cerakote. I got uh, two new transmission cooler fittings and I got a OEM plugs and wires and then uh, I got them some new general tires from Tire Rack and the last thing is these snazzy little uh, chrome wheel skins that snap over the factory aluminum wheels. I'm trying to find where the valve stem is. I'm just going to show you how these go on. These just snap right on. Boom. Snap. Got them some new chrome lug nuts to go on there too. So, follow along with the progress and give you a final update when everything's done. All four are off. I took the valve stems out and I'm going to try breaking the bead. I think these 16s are pretty easy to do with this Harbor Freight Changer. I'm hoping I can get them mounted. Never tried mounting 16s. I can tell you for a fact you can't mount 17s with these. I'm hoping maybe I could save a little money by mounting them myself. And then I take it for an alignment and have them balance the wheels. Well, that's the easy part. Getting these 16s off. I don't know if you caught my uh, TPMS video, but uh, bought some of this Ruglide from Napa, put it in a spray bottle. It's essentially like soapy water. You spray around the bead with it. So that's one off. I'm going to see if I can get these mounted. So I did, I ended up mounting this upside down because these fingers really don't fit in that Impala wheel well. Um, one thing, I took a screwdriver and scraped out all the shit out of where the bead sits. And then I hit it with some 150 grit. You really don't need to clean this, but you need to clean in here. And do it on the other side too. But uh, this, just be aware if you have nice wheels, this Harbor Freight bar might leave some scuffs on there. But these I don't care because I got those wheel skins and they're beat up already. And then on the new tires just make sure they're not rotational and check and see if they say inside or outside because the way we're doing it this is going to be the inside and that's if it says inside that's where I want it to sit I'm going to proceed so I check my tire and both sides are identical even down to the marking so make sure I get 
the beads. <laughs> they hit both sides. It's not gonna matter what side goes on. Let's try getting this on. Well, I seriously would have had to play that yakety sax from the Benny Hill show <laughs> if I would have been recording how I got this tire on. <laughs> but I did get one on. So I ended up having to flip this over because this is just too short going the other way. I guess the secret to it is I didn't actually end up using this end. I managed, I got the bead, the tires off the bead when you get the first, the this side's, this bottom side's really easy to get on. This top one's a bitch, but if you have it off the bead and you push it in, you can take this end and pry it up and over. You can see right now it's not on the bead, but that's easy. You just, uh, I gotta put the valve core back in, but you bounce it and that'll get it on the bead enough to fill it with air and it'll pop. So yay. I'm happy with that. That'll save some money. And then my buddy wants two of these. Save two of them. Two are shit. He's got a place to dispose of them. So that'll save some cash. And I didn't really scrape this up too bad. It doesn't even look like I did at all. These were, this shit was already there. But that chrome piece is going to cover all this up. I want to take a moment to share this woo for no reason. Woo! Woo! Alright, tires are done. Now it's on to the fun part. Suspension, brakes, steering. I gotta say the front struts and these W bodies are cake. It's the rear ones that are the pain in the ass. And you got these in in no time. It's these damn back ones. You got so much space. I mean, you can get on this bolt easy. With an ex you need an extension. You can't get on this one or that back one. I mean, if maybe I sawed my extension in half, which I don't want to do. Otherwise, you're in here with a damn open end wrench. I mean, Maybe I should just go buy a ratcheting open end wrench. It's such a pain in the ass about these rear struts. And you got the stupid sway bar end link you gotta remove. Of course, you know, you spin both of them and they just spin, spin, spin. This one I was able to get a open end on the back of it, spin it off. I mean, you can leave this on that one. Uh, that's where I'm at with that. Then we'll go struts, suspension, brakes. I think I mentioned that already. Do the brakes last. Thank Christ for Detroit Axle, man. They made these studs shorter so I could at least get the my short socket on there and get them started. And then finished them off with the open end. Man, and these are what the factories look like. Detroit Axle for the win. Well, I got this side done. Brakes are done. I put the wheel on, new lug nuts, and it's working over here. Good lord, this side was kicking my ass. I ended up having to cut that stupid sway bar link so I could get a, a wrench on the one side. Whew. And this one is a little tough <laughs> locating this. You know, I like that they shorten those bolts, but man, it makes it tougher to locate it up in the trunk. Oh, yeah. Gonna tighten those up, put the brakes on, and I'll probably move on to that front uh, steering and suspension there in the morning. I don't want to make much racket. It's about 8 o'clock now, so I'm gonna move on to some other quieter stuff on here that I will be making dedicated videos of. So I didn't record any of this, but uh, this is a new pack because I bought two, bought one for my car too, but uh, I went and uh, redid these headlights. Holy shit balls, do they look like new. <laughs> I'm gonna post a link to a video of a guy that uh, 
showed how you do this kit. Basically, you get these oxida oxidizing, I'm sorry, oxidization remover wipes. That's your step one, you run them over, they give you like eight of them. And then after that, you get this uh, sanding disc and there's 2,000 grit and 3,000 grit. You do the 2,000, then the 3,000 with uh, your, uh, you got a wet sand. Then you clean them off and then there's the ceramic wipes, one for each headlight. You give it one coat and then you let it dry 60 minutes and they're good. I'm like, it was 22 bucks on Amazon for that kit. And now it's got protection on it. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, good stuff. As far as my progress, aside from that, I'm taking it down a notch. Brakes and struts are done in the back. Wheels are mounted. So I'll do the loud stuff up here tomorrow. I like Gertie out here to cause trouble. <laughs> the hell, she found some kind of glove and. <laughs> oh, good lord. And you know, can't have one fuzzy daughter without the other one coming out here. Hey there. Beam techs, both of them are on. Oh man, that just, this camera is not picking up how awesome these headlights look. There we go, focus in. Bright. All right, we're spilling over into day number two. I have the caliper rotor removed. I zip tied the caliper up here to the strut. Working on the control arm. Got the sway bar link cut. I popped the tire rod end off. And under here, I'm trying to get the camera. This uh, ball joint bolt nut. You have to go in with a, what is this, an 18 mil? open and wrench you have very limited room I mean you I didn't want to pull the axle out you'd have a lot more room if you pulled the axle out not about to do that uh, this mounting point is really awkward you need a 21 up on top and then on the bottom you need a what is a 5 16 uh, hex you can do this by hand. I got the other one, a 21 and an 18. I got it with my uh, impact gun. Pretty easy. Then you got to go in and you have to pull off the, the little connectors here for your ABS. You got to disconnect this. Pop. There's four of these. You got to pop out, get that out of the way. That's pretty easy. The uh, <laughs> uh, Saving this for last. One I hate doing more than anything. The inners anyway pretty simple uh, I did show last night when I was recording I got the brakes on in the back both sides both struts wheels are back on I'm just plugging away at this so here we go this bushing was pretty munched but these uh yeah, this ball joint is just loose as shit the uh, new Detroit axles are riveted in and there's no zerk fitting on the bottom this is just a better all-around value you know if you've got a bad ball joint because you got to drill these stupid rivets out chisel them out why not just change the whole control arm that's what you got to love about this era we're living in you can just get these new parts all new you don't have to fuck with this old bullshit and Detroit Axle is a good brand if you have a beater because the parts will probably last longer than the car will. They're slightly better than the chinese cheap shit. You know, not as good as Moog, but for a 14-year-old car, these are going to be the last 
last of anything going on here. Good price too. Can't recommend them enough. This passenger side control arm, I ended up having to cut the end off. This, the pickle fork, it kept ramming into the bolts of this tie rod. I'm sorry, ball joint, and I couldn't even get it to properly wedge in there. But after I whacked that off, I was able to cut the boot off, and then that just, I held a, I stuck a, the handle of my wrench through one of the bolts for the caliper brackets to kind of hold it in place, and I hit it with that, and then it just popped right off. Man, having a cordless sawzall really has uh, been the saving grace. You can see now I'm down to the bitch work. <sighs> this one's bent too. It's got a little bend in it. So I have to replace these inners. Ah, just dreading crawling under there and cutting them boot clamps off. Bunch of fucking bullshit. Well, my other one should be arriving soon. I hope I can get them fastened. I don't know. If not, I might just try zip ties. Got an appointment for an alignment tomorrow. Maybe I could have them take a look at that. I don't know. I'm not going to give up on it yet. On with the bitch work. So, I marked where the jam nut went. Put a little electrical tape. And line the old and the new, I'm just going to transfer that tape on there so I know how far to put the jam nut. I don't know how far to wind down the tie rod. It'll be close. And uh, this time around, I remember the thread locker. i got to put a little thread locker on the threads on the rack there, just a little bit. So you don't want these things falling off. So I ripped this one boot when I was trying to cut the clamp off it. I had to go, went to O'Reilly's and picked up a, a boot that says this fits the Impala. And it came with two zip ties for each end. So I mean seriously, they just want you to zip tie it? Well guess what? I'm zip tying these things on. I got the metal ones coming from Amazon. They said they won't be here till later tonight. Well screw it. I'm putting these on here. If they fall off, I'll put the other ones on. But yeah, it's bitch work. <laughs> I got this side done. Just need to put the zip tie on it. The other one, got to do the boot and the tie rod and the outer. I'm calling this done. Well, check it out. This would signify that I am finished. I got those boots on there and the zip ties are holding them. So I'm calling it good. So I will uh, finish this video up as soon as I uh, get the car aligned. Got some other videos to record. Well here she is all finished up. Everything's done. I was going to mount these skins, but uh, I'm going to wait till tomorrow till after I get the alignment. That's it. Four new tires, all new struts, all new brakes, new control arms in the front, new inner and outer tie rod ends. I just gave this thing a tune-up, plugs and wires, changed the trans cooler fitting, changed the mirror, changed the door lock, changed the lock cylinder. Whew. Oh yeah, coated the headlights too. I put installed beam techs. That's quite a bit of work. So there she is. There's my vlog on my buddy's car, Ruby. So hey, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. And we'll see you around. See you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my channel. Bye.